hi everyone welcome back to my channel Southwest Sundays I'm Louise and today I am in North Devon in Linton and the Valley of Rocks and I am going to be heading out along the coast path to Woody Bay so I'm going to start my walk today walking from the car park in the Valley of Rocks up towards where I used to live and I'm going to show you that because it is the most spectacular place to live and I was lucky enough to live there for six years. So this would be my regular walk home from the bus stop because for the first few years when I lived here I didn't actually drive so I had magnificent walks like this literally on my doorstep. So this is the view that I'm just leaving behind me and then I don't know if you can see the sea because it is so foggy and misty but the sea's just down there you might be able to hear it and then the coast path continues along this way up towards where I used to live as I walk along here I'm keeping my eye open for goats because there's quite often goats grazing along here but to be honest, the goats are probably sheltering at the moment if they've got any sense. So I'm just leaving the coast path bit because it comes uphill and it goes up back to the road for a few minutes. So that bit of coast path just came out there at that gate. And now we are entering the Lee Abbey estate. Just be mindful if you are driving it that it is a toll road and there's a charge of two pounds to use it. So this is where I used to call home. So just before we head down the hill to show you the house where I used to live and work, I also used to live in this place for a while as well when it first opened. When I first arrived it was a barn and it got converted into a fantastic youth centre with a climbing wall and lots of outdoor activities to do and I worked I'm just going to show you down these steps over here oh, it doesn't look like anybody's down there at the moment that there is the kitchen and I worked in there for a while when it first opened and my bedroom was just up there just above the sign that says the beacon and my views <laughs> you can't really see them at the moment but you can hear the sheep bleating my view was of that lovely field with sheep in it. I just have to ask you to imagine this on a bright sunny day <laughs> because it is spectacular now, but on a bright sunny day, well, you just can't get much better. So yeah, there's another sign about the toll road and just there is the donation box for your two pound toll. So we just walked down that road there and we're getting our first glimpses of the Abbey. Lee Abbey is home to an international Christian community who host conferences, retreats and holidays. And I was a member of the very international kitchen team there. Lee Abbey Estate is 288 acres and it's part of Exmoor National Park. Oh my goodness, I don't know if you can even see them in the distance in the fog behind me, but I just met my old boss and his family who I spent lots of lovely times with here at Lee Abbey. And they just happen to be out here exploring for the day as well. And um, they've not been back here for ages and neither have I. And we just happened to meet each other and it was the most amazing, amazing thing. So hi Anne and Sarah, it was fabulous to meet you and your family and your lovely dog Nala. Oh my goodness, <laughs> I'm just so surprised. It was just such a lovely surprise to see them. Um, and they left ages ago as well and we've not seen each other for a very, very long time. Anyway, just heading down the road and we are heading towards lots of green tents and those green tents are for a youth camp that is happening this week and it is an 18 to 30s camp I think. Look at the amazing views they have from their campsite just down by Lee Bay there, the beach. So the camp is run by Lee Abbey and there will be another camp for younger people um, in a few weeks time as well I believe. So just heading down to Lee Bay, which is that beach you saw. Just where those people are, there's a car park. And then the road to the beach just goes through that gate there. So we're just walking down a lovely little road down to Lee Bay Beach. 
that there is the beach chalet and you can hire it for up to 12 people I think it is and I'll put the email address and booking things about the Abbey on the description box below this video so if you want to think about booking somewhere like this chalet then you can find out some more information just look at the views that you've got from that chalet across the bay I used to come down here after doing a hot roast dinner shift in the kitchen on a Sunday and it was lovely to cool off in the sea. I have very many happy memories of sitting on that beach of an evening in the summer and even in the winter sometimes as well, toasting marshmallows around campfires and things. Just a really special place. I made lots of lovely friends here and I still keep in contact with them and they're from all around the world. Just here underneath the chalet we have the beach chapel take a little walk down to the water's edge. This is the closest I'm going to get to the sea today in this video so I'm going to go make the most of it. So here is the field that I mentioned earlier, the camp that's running this week for the 1830s. That's just near the beach and just to the side of it here is the tea cottage and I used to work in this place as well. It is looking very closed and that is because it is. So I'll take you around to see a better view of it in a minute. Okay, so here's a slightly better view. I'll walk towards it. Now this is a beautiful, beautiful tea garden and they do amazing cream teas and homemade cakes and lots of fair trade food. But unfortunately this year they're not open. We'll have a little chat about that in a second. Now usually this garden is full in the summer of tables and chairs and people really enjoying lots of cream teas. But unfortunately, as I said, it's closed this year. And yeah, I used to work here making the scones, making the cream teas. And I had a few wonderful summers working down here. I'll try and find some pictures of me in my uniform as well. That would be quite fun to show you. Yeah, sadly they're not open this year because they don't have enough stuff to run it. A lot of the people who live and work on the Liabi community are from overseas, from many, many different countries. And obviously this year, it's been a bit challenging to get some stuff. So the tea cottage is a fantastic place to come if you're out walking the southwest coast path, like I am today. It's a lovely stopping off point. So this road just goes up behind the tea cottage and then continues on to Woody Bay. So here we have a lovely view of the camp. I think they're just about having their dinner, or their lunch rather. Just above the camp there, we've got the car park where you would come if you wanted to go to Lee Bay, or if you wanted to go to the tea cottage and drive there. And then just up the hill there is Lee Abbey. And doesn't it just look absolutely such a splendid building? I'm just amazed at how yellow the grass is actually. I always remember it being so green here. But at the moment with all the hot weather we've had, it's looking very, very yellow. Just be careful for cars. There's not too many along here. This is the coast road and it'll soon be going back to the coast path. But um, I wouldn't fancy driving along here and I'll show you why in a bit. Anyway, we're walking along this road and we'll soon be rejoining the coast path. And we're going to get some amazing views and the sun is starting to come out as well and it's dried up so I'm really happy about that. So just at this junction you've got a choice to make. You can follow the coast path along the road to Woody Bay or you can walk the way that I'm going to go down into the woods. This is just lovely. If it was a hot sunny day this would be lovely and sheltered as it is. It's just nice and sheltered from the wind, which does seem to have died down now, thankfully. Everything's really improving. So just walking along here, the sea is down behind the trees. Just down there. I don't think you can actually see the sea, but you can probably hear it. Just a few steps to descend up. Oh, I see the sea. And also over there as well. Lovely views from these steps. Oh, this is lovely. It's really improving the weather now as well. Everything's starting to look very beautiful. Oh wow, the sun's coming out. 
I think I'm going to have to change into summer weather gear. I'm boiling. I need my sunglasses as well. Oh, it's such a lovely afternoon now. It's really brightening up. Oh, lovely walk so far. Do you know what? This day is getting awesomer and awesomer. It was really awesome meeting my boss and his family from years ago. And now we have blue sky as well to brighten up my day even more. Onto a steep bit of coast path now. Turn the camera around in a minute. Some more steps coming. We're climbing up. Ooh, nearly fell there. I am not the most stable on my feet. I probably shouldn't be filming this. At the same time, it's going over rough ground. I'll definitely not do any filming on these steps. I'll see you at the top of those. Absolutely love this bit of woodland. So that was the steps there. You can't really see them. They kind of blend into the terrain. But they're quite steep steps. I keep forgetting to video. Better show you some more of this walk. It is absolutely beautiful. I love all the different types of terrain and views you get on this bit of the walk. So we're just coming back up onto the coast road from the coast path. So we're going this way. So Woody Bay, one and a quarter miles. Just loving all the autumnal colours. Hard to believe it's just the end of July. Ooh, look at that view. Beautiful. So yeah, this is one of the places I would hate to drive around. So you've got it, it curves right round the bend there. Right round there. I don't know if you can work out how bendy it is. It's, it's really bendy. You really don't want to be meeting anything there. But there is a, a passing space there, I suppose. But it's right next to the sea. Well, I seem to remember this from last time as well. That sign said one and a quarter miles to Woody Bay, but according to the National Trust, we're actually here. So before I turn around, I'm just going to go down this little bit here because I seem to remember there was a seat to sit on. And so I'm going to go find that, have a bit of lunch. And then I'm going to head back. And rather than go all the coast path back, I'm going to go back a bit through the woodlands and we'll come out back by the abbey. This is a nice little route down to a picnic spot. It's turning out to be a really lovely day. It's going to be perfect for a picnic. Okay, so I can just see my lunch bench and turnaround point coming into view. And what a view I have for my lunch. Look at this nice relaxing sea scene with a boat just quietly chugging along. Oh, this is just such a beautiful spot for lunch, really peaceful. I could continue further on down that way and I will do one day because I need to discover what's down there. I've never actually been down there but today I'm going to turn around at this bench. So I've had a lovely lunch, walked back up that road there from the bench back up onto the coast road and I'm the sign by where it says Woody Bay. So I'm going to head back along the coast road and then there should be an option, not too far along, to join the bridal path, I think. And that goes through the woods on the Liabi estate. So I'm looking forward to showing you that bit of the route. Yeah, that's that corner again. It's a really blind corner and a really, really narrow road. And you just have no clue until it's in front of you what's coming around the corner. So we've just got the coast off to the left there. And this is heading back in the direction of Linton. This whole route is just lined with things like ferns. I absolutely adore ferns. I think they're so beautiful, so refreshing. There's absolutely loads of these orange flowers around as well. I recognise them. 
but I'm not too sure what they are. Uh, still loving this walk, just heading back still towards Linton and looking out for the entrance to the bridle path, which I'm going to take. Can I just remind you, if you've not already subscribed to my channel, then can I just encourage you to do that? It's totally free and it just means that it helps YouTube to push my videos out to other people who might enjoy them. The more people who interact with my video by subscribing or liking or commenting, things like that, then it just gives YouTube a nod to say, yeah, this video is good. Well, I hope you think it's good anyway. Um, and it will help YouTube then to push it out to other people who may enjoy it. So let's continue on the walk. Okay, so got the sign post there. You can go the coast path to Linton or the coast road to Linton. And I'm going to continue along the road and then we should find this bridle path soon. I just had a car go past me here. <laughs> it's just so narrow. So we're still walking alongside the sea. It's quite difficult to show you the sea because it's kind of camouflaged by all these trees. But I think you can just see it through these trees here. There we go, that's a better view. Absolutely stunning, isn't it? There's a sign for the bridleway now over that way. But look, first of all, I'm going to go and have a look at the views over here. So just coming down to the crook pits gate. Look at this. Blue sky, sunshine, beautiful sea and beautiful, beautiful cliffs. What more could you ask for on a Sunday afternoon? And some rather lovely looking blackberries. Time for a snack, I think. Oh, do you know what? I'm almost tempted to go along the road because it's such lovely blue sky and sunshine now. But I said I'd go through the bridle way and through the woods. So let's head into here and have a little explore. And as soon as we get to this gate, we have this sign here. Welcome to the Lee Abbey Estate. And please follow the way marked paths. Get some lovely little views with the trees. Oh, this is lovely. You can still see the blue sky as we walk through this wooded area. Ah, oh, there's the Abbey from another lovely angle. I love it with the Valley of Rocks in the background. I took so many photos of the Abbey when I was here and I don't think I ever got that photo from that angle. It's really beautiful, I think. So at this sign off the bridleway, we're going to take the permitted path to the Abbey, which is down there. A little bit of a water feature going on here. I'll show you a bit closer. Definitely evidence of it being used as a bridal path. So I'm not sure if all of you are aware, there's a Facebook group for the channel now, and it would be brilliant to see you over there. It's a place where we can meet and share photos of the Southwest and chat together as viewers of the videos. And it, yeah, as I say, it would be fantastic to see you over there. So when you finish watching this video, just hop on over to Facebook and search Southwest Sundays and you'll find the group there. Uh, I've just remembered something. As well as taking the guests out here on walks, which we did quite often, we used to come out here as a whole group of community and come out here to cut the Christmas tree down. And that was just such a special occasion. We would all come out here with pasties and sausage rolls and hot soup and cut the Christmas tree down, ready to take back. Well, we didn't take it back. The, the estate team took it back, I think, to the main house. So just heading back towards the road and towards the Abbey house now. And this is the log pile. I'm sure many people who are watching this video who know the Abbey well will know the log pile.
also a superb view of the house and superb view of the beach from here. Well, I don't know if you can just about make out, there's some people in front of the house there and they're probably enjoying their fawsies because that's what we used to call it, fawsies. We used to have afternoon tea at four o'clock and it was nice tea and homemade cake every day, a different homemade cake. And it was always free as well. So yeah, that's probably what they're doing right now. So we often had guests with us from Monday to Friday and then another group came in over the weekend from Friday to Sunday. But during the school holidays, like the summer holidays like this, you'd have a Saturday to Saturday family holiday week as well. And there'd be all sorts of fun activities to do. And it was a really lovely time to work there. So just passing the beacon again, where I used to work. And there's the entrance to the Abbey, where the car park is. And now walking back down into the Valley of Rocks. So just walking along this top road for a minute, and then we can drop down onto the coast path and get some more incredible views. Oh, just look at this view from the coast path, it's superb. Well, I've got a ridiculously small amount of battery left, so I'm going to say goodbye from here with this beautiful view behind me in the Valley of Rocks. Thank you so much for joining me, everyone. It's been an absolute pleasure showing you around here. I've had such a lovely day and to top it off meeting my old boss and his lovely family as well that's just been fantastic so i hope you've enjoyed my little tour around the valley of rocks i haven't really shown you much around them so i'll come back again i'm um, up to liabi out to woody bay and back again through the woods and the bridle path i hope you've enjoyed all that and i look forward to showing you much more in the future as well so until next time i'll say goodbye thanks for joining me everybody bye for now Thank you.